Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Kripe Man. What we're going to do this time through is we're going to uh, simulate Lake, Lake Michigan with the ocean primitive. And you notice that I have a, a Chicago skyline loaded up, or the Chicago skyline loaded up. And this was done by Robert Hughes. Uh, he, uh, he has it at, on his website, and I'm going to leave the link to this. But this is, this is really good. If you want to use it, as, if, you, if you're a Chicago fan, uh, this would make a real good wallpaper. It also make a, it, and it, and it makes an excellent example of uh, not only what the Chicago skyline looks like, but it of what Lake Michigan looks like compared to it. And you can drop your, you can do what I'm getting ready to do now with it if you want to do that. But uh, yeah, uh, Robert Hughes did this, and uh, yeah, this is where you, you, the, in the information below is where you'll be able to find it. Um, so anyway, we have uh, Chicago loaded up, and we have the background turned on, so we're we're good to go. Let's go ahead and drop the ocean primitive into our scene. And there there aren't a whole lot of options to the ocean primitive, but uh, it's it's really it's really cool looking. Uh, something notable about about the primitive is uh, uh, the shader. This is it's a really good example of what uh, water looks like. You know, a big body of water looks like color wise transparency reflection wise uh, transparency most notably because it's uh, it has a uh, some really some of the op the options in here are are uh, are watery <laughs> so anyway uh, so we have the ocean primitive in here let's go ahead and bump up the resolution to 1024 1024 because the bumps are real small in the picture and it's going to think for a minute. There we go. And that's what it looks like compared to 128. You can go 32 by 32. See how wavy it is and smooth. 1024 by 1024. It's not as smooth. Uh, and there are a lot more bumps in there. This is what we want. Let's go ahead and bump the size of this thing up to 75 feet. So that we can get the edges just beyond the production frame. Uh, wave amplitude is a little high. Let's go ahead and do 0.25 and that's going to match the bumps. That's going to match these bumps a little bit better than you know the way it first came in. All right, let's move this up to where the boats are. Yikes. Yeah, they look a little bit underwater. That'll work. Uh, wave amplitude is 0.25. Now, one cool thing about this, when you when you're animating it, uh, when you animate it, it uh, uh, it's going to follow the wind. So I have it going on the x-axis this way, or you can go on the x-axis the other way. But I have it going this way, and so the the bumps are going to follow the w bumps, uh, their waves, but uh, the bumps are going to follow the wind, whichever direction you point on this little ring here. Uh, waves follow the wind. Tap on that, and don't need to override ride the the time. Uh, system period is 02. Actually, I'm not really sure what overriding the time and system period, the difference between them. Uh, because uh, it seems like that this is what it is. I haven't really played with override time, but have, like I said, haven't needed it. And uh, we're good to go. Now, something about your uh, sampling grid. If you, when you have your sampling grid up to 1024 by uh, 1024 by 1024, um, it's going to take a long time to render, especially with reflection and transparency in there. You don't really need reflection and transparency. Well, you don't need reflection and transparency because there's nothing to reflect, A, and uh, and uh, transparency, there's nothing underneath it to show. You don't need to show that there's anything underneath it. And it's not going to hurt anything if you, if you don't use transparency. Actually, uh, transparency will show a little bit of the, will show the color of the, the skyline. So it's your call. Uh, play around with them a little bit, but you don't need reflection. 
because it's not going to reflect your background. Uh, you could probably cut this out and then if you wanted a reflection you'd, you could cut this out and uh, have a 2D have it 2D in the back and then you know reflect it that way if you want but you don't really need it and uh, you go and render it and it took me about three hours to render but here's what I came up with oh it's gonna do that really there we go ah oh, come on Uh, see when I'm now that I'm recording it, it's not going to do it, but it came out seamlessly. It's it's flawless and seamless and all that fun stuff. Yeah, uh, really. Okay, whatever. But uh, it's it the effect is really convincing. Even even if it is a little fast, um, the effect is really convincing. And it but like I said, it took like three hours to do this, a two second animation, and uh, yeah, that that was the result. So. Uh, if you're wanting to simulate big bodies of water, that's what the ocean primitive is for. And uh, if you ever get a chance to check out Chicago, do. It's a really cool city. So, anyway, uh, that's it for this time. I'm Kreitman, and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.